Hey welcome everyone, today I'm going to show you step by step how I made this beautiful nightstand with mirrors on the side and on the front. This is also equipped with a nightlight LED strip on the top. And at the end of this video I will show you how much I spent and what I purchased for this build. Also if you're new here consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's get to it. Alright, so I started this build with the body. For the body I used 3 quarter inch perch plywood. I took out my table saw and started making some of the cuts. For the legs I use one 2x4 to get the 4 pieces and I cut 1 inch on each side to make it 1 inch and a half. As soon as I finished cutting all the pieces for the body, I made pocket holes to start joining some of the pieces. And I only made holes on these pieces. After that, I sanded everything with 60 grit followed by 120 grit sandpaper. Once everything was sanded, I started uh, putting the sides together with pocket hole screws and wood glue. And here, I almost forgot to make pocket holes on the top of the sides. This will help when I get ready to join the top. And after that, I put these smaller pieces using wood glue and brad nails. Once I have both sides on, I screw these pieces to this distance.
And then I attach the back side. And then I put the cap onto this distance. After the body was done, I jump into making the drawers. And here you can see the cuts I made. All I used for the drawers was wood glue and bread nails. If you're interested in the tools that I used, go ahead and check out the links down below in the description. Next, I put these smaller pieces on the front of the drawer and this will serve for hiding the drawer slides. Now, the all around gap that I gave these drawers was 1 8 of an inch. But I do suggest that this be put once the drawers are installed and before painting so that they are better square because I had a hard time making everything square. For the drawer slides, I mark the thickness of the trim and that's where the edge of the front of the slides will be placed so that when the drawers are closed, it will be flush with the body of the nightstand. And I also use this jig to help me align everything and I have the link in the description if you want to check it out. Then I flip the jig to help me align the other part of the slide to the drawer. A 
As you can see, I placed the screws here just in case I had to move it up or down to help me align the face of the drawer. Before I painted everything, I covered any nail holes or any gaps that I saw and sanded it one more time with 120 grit sandpaper. I did a total of 3 coats sanding in between each coat once dried with a fine sanding sponge. This will give you a soft to the touch professional finish. For the finish, I used three coats of lacquer and I only lightly sanded everything after the second coat with a fine sanding sponge and then I sprayed the last coat of lacquer. Now for the LED strip, I used this channel and inside this channel is where the LED strip will be at. I do suggest that you make this step before painting. And this is optional, you don't have to make this step, but I just thought it'd be cool. I use Marauder to make a channel on top, but if you don't own one, you can use a chisel. Now, as you can see, I made a hole on the channel and on the top to fit the end of the connection of the LED strip. This strip has an indication to where you can cut the strip. Before attaching the strip, I screw the channel secure to the top using small screws. Then I secure the strip taking off the film on the bottom and sticking the strip to the channel. And finally, attaching the white cover. Then I focus into cutting the mirror pieces and putting them into place. Now, I have never in my life cut glass before, so I had to YouTube a lot of videos and it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I do want to want to be careful and do your own research before cutting glass. When cutting, you want to use a good amount of pressure so that it will be easy to break. I also file the edges lightly. After that, I made the holes for the drawer knobs, and to do this, I use a special glass drill bit. This step should be done on a flat surface and before gluing the mirror to the nightstand. I use WD-40 to help me make the hole, but you can also use cooking oil or even water. When drilling, you want to set the drill to the lowest setting and go really slow to prevent any chipping, and you also don't want to put a lot of force. Right after, I use a regular drill bit to drill through the wood. And then I use a countersink drill bit to have the screw flush. And then I just screw the drawer knob. And all I used to put the mirror in place was Gorilla Construction Adhesive. And I let it cure for about 24 hours. Uh, now for the edges of the mirror I used caulk but it was really messy and I wish I would have used something else instead. Alright, so for the material this is pretty much what I purchased and I'm, and I'm not counting in here things like paint, glue, screws, just because some of these things I usually have them in hand from previous projects. But these are more like the main materials that you're going to need if you decide to make this build. And alright everyone, that is it for this video, if you thought this was valuable, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future projects. Until next time.